what's up it's the chinchilla notebook here and welcome to today's video so once again i'm filming a little bit later than my day which is usually on monday but it's been kind of crazy for my family lately um one of my family members got sick and we've been at the hospital for the past week so i got home and i started school today so it's been really hectic and merlin's really been lacking attention from his family but um basically um, I'm back home, and I'm with Merlin, and I thought I would just get this video out for you guys. And oh my goodness, this is the cutest creature I have ever seen. Oh my good, ow, he just bit me. Okay, so today's video is going to be a requested video. and This was actually requested a while ago, and I never filmed it for you guys, so sorry about that. But today's video is going to be on traveling with your chinchilla, and I am going to let him out because I set up playtime. So Merlin might be spending some of the time underneath his cage, so I'm going to try to get him out of there, but I don't know how successful I will be in doing that. Anyway, so excuse the fact that you might not be seeing him all the time. He's a big stinker, as you probably already know. So the first thing I want to tell you guys about traveling with your chinchilla is that they are going to need a carrier, and there are actually carriers that can be bought for small pets. I'm sorry, I, I can imagine how annoying this is for you guys not to be able to see him. Okay. Nah, hang on. Alright. So you can actually just use a cat plastic carrier, you know, a standard cat carrier, just as long as you're always monitoring them because chinchillas do eat plastic, they do chew it. So the first thing I'm going to tell you guys is that they stress out really easily, so make sure their carriers are as dark and closed off as possible. And the way to do this is a lot of carriers have like air coming through like holes for the air and where the light can come in. And obviously you want your pet to breathe, but at the same time you want to keep them uh, pretty calm. So what I recommend doing is using fleece to cover the carrier. And the way you can do, the way this works is fleece is, lets air pass through easily. So that all works out good. So that's what you guys can do to make it a little bit darker. And the next thing is to put fleece on the bottom of the carrier for comfort. It just makes it a little bit softer for their feet to land on or whatever. And, you know, and then afterward it's easy to clean up. If they go to the bathroom, you can easily just shake it out and wash it. Well, another good thing you guys can do is chinchillas like to jump a lot. And you don't want them to be jumping around in the carrier because they can hurt themselves. So what you guys can do is to put hay on the bottom. This just kind of stuffs it up a little bit more and discourages jumping. And they can also eat it if they want to. Chinchillas really love hay. It's like very main thing of their diet. The thing is to put pellets in the carrier in case they get hungry. Obviously, you don't want your chinchilla to be hungry or, you know, discomfort. They're already going to be in kind of not a very comfortable place. So it's better to give them food and everything that they need. And um, as for water, the car ride or the plane ride, I... I don't know what you guys are taking them in, but if it's bumpy, I recommend don't filling up the water bottle and putting it like into their carrier because what can happen is it can leak and soon the whole thing will be wet and you'll have a wet chinchilla and that's not good because it can cause fungus. It'll just be a big mess. So if you're going on a car ride and you want your chinchilla to have access to water, obviously they need water. What you guys can do is to just offer them that, offer the water in increments and just like poke the water bottle through and try to tempt your chinchilla. It's just a better idea to do that and you know, keep it upside right or, okay, so you see how the water bottle looks like that. Basically just turn it upside down so that, you know, this side is facing up that way it doesn't leak or anything and you can just offer it to them. So one good thing I recommend you guys do before you travel with your chinchilla or even put them in the carrier is to let them sleep in the carrier a few nights before. So. The way to do this is just in the nighttime or in the daytime, actually chinchillas uh, sleep in the day more. So I would just put them in the carrier and let them stay in there. They might be very uncomfortable and restless and I don't recommend keeping them for that long, but like for maybe 10, 9, 8 hours a couple nights before and just put them in every day or something. I don't know, I think, I think it'd be better in the daytime so they're not restless because at night they prefer to sleep. But uh, just do this so that they can get used to the carrier and everything about the carrier. The smell and so they can have their scent in it and that's just a good idea. Oh, he got angry with me. He got angry with me. 
So one, the biggest thing I'm going to warn you guys about now, I'm pretty much done with everything that has to do with traveling, but the biggest thing I'm gonna warn you guys is don't travel for more than five to six hours in a carrier. It is, you know, I don't know where you where you need to take your chinchilla. Don't do that. I'm gonna treat my thing. I'm gonna treat. I don't know where you guys are taking your chinchilla, but just don't travel for more than five or six hours because it's really bad. I mean, if you can take your chinchilla out and put him in a cage, you know, that's a good idea, but don't travel for more than six hours. It's just not a good idea. It's really bad for the chinchilla and they're going to get really stressed out. The last thing you want is a stressed out chinchilla, um, a shocked chinchilla, a chinchilla that's losing fur. So just avoid all that and don't travel for too long. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all my tips. If you're keeping them in a mesh contain, a mesh contain, a mesh carrier or a plastic carrier, you need to watch them constantly. He found the cap again. You need to watch them constantly because they can chew through it easily, and you don't want that stuff getting into their system. And you know they can escape if you don't watch them. They can escape. So yeah, that is it for now. I think I've gone over everything I wanted to. Thankfully, Merlin has never had to travel, but if he would, you know, I would be prepared for him. So that's it for the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry my room was all over the place, but you know, anyway, life with the chinchilla, it's unpredictable. But thanks for watching, and comment down below what videos you guys would like to see. I'm working on currently a lot, trying to get them filmed and planned out. So I will see you guys later, and Moon said goodbye. <laughs>